Christian College Fair schedule changes, team building continues, a new athlete of the week. And you might want to get your hair done because picture day is coming up. I'm Maddie. And I'm Carly. Plus, those items plus your sports report is coming up on your update for Wednesday, September 13th. Right now. your update sense. The Christian College Fair is today. Juniors and seniors will go from 1.30 to 2.20 and freshmen and sophomores will go from 2.30 to 3.15. Now let's talk about upcoming announcements such as how yearbook picture day for all grades will be held next Monday the 18th. Yeah but make sure to come to school in your regular uniform for pictures and don't worry about PE if you are in 6th through ninth grades. You'll be going during your PE period on Monday for pictures. So don't worry about dressing out for PE that day. Also, this Thursday is the senior family meeting with Mrs. Collum at 6 p.m. in the Fine Arts Theater. She'll be talking about all things college related. Well, that's it from us now. Let's head to sports. Thanks, guys. Now, it was quite the busy day yesterday for most of our teams. Yep, let's start off talking about golf. Okay, well, middle school's game against Marco Island and St. Francis was canceled due to lightning. The varsity team's match against CSN was cut short as well, and they were only able to play five holes and lost by 22 strokes. Well, I'm just glad they dodged the lightning. Well, next off is middle school football, who lost to CSN 48-24. to Well, all I can say is that they look forward to bouncing back next week against Moore Haven. Chase, let's talk about volleyball, since they were the biggest games we've got to talk about. Okay, well... How did they do, Adam? The games were the middle school JV and varsity, as well as the high school JV and varsity teams. So how did it go? So middle school was at village school and high school was back for the next round of the private eight, this time facing FBA. Well, middle school JV lost 25 to 10 and 25 to 21, but the middle school varsity team won with the scores of 25 to 21 and 25 to 16. Well, at least one of them won. For high school, JV teams lost in two sets and varsity team lost in three to FBA. All in all, a pretty rough night for volleyball. Well, all right. Since it's Wednesday, Adam, there are no sports today. Right. But make sure to vote for Derek Washington for the new Southwest Florida Defensive Player of the Week. That's right. Make sure to go to highschool.si.com, click on football, and then look for Southwest Florida Defensive Player of the Week. And just like last time, it only takes four seconds. So please vote. Yup. Remember that this contest goes until Sunday. So please vote every day. He's well, way back in third place in the voting, so he needs your help all week. Well, that's a fact. You know what else is a fact, Chase? What? That is the end of sports for today. No, actually it's not. In hoop news, heads up to all of you working on your skills in the gym after school. There will be no basketball open gym today after school. Well, I guess that was the end of sports for today. Let's see what Addy and Carly have to finish things up. Thanks guys, it's time for a few final announcements. That's right, today there will be a team building event. And it will take place during your PE period. Don't forget Addy, this Friday is the deadline for juniors to sign up for the retreat at Lake Placid Camp. Well, that's all for today, Sense. See you next time on The Update.